All right, just got back from the run, had some food, stuffed myself with an onion. <laughs> now we're headed to Walsingham. We're gonna get some fishing done. Should we tell them where, they're, where we're going? Yeah, probably Because we're walking that. in your neighborhood. <laughs> I mean, they're gonna figure out sooner or later. I mean, they've docks. seen your house. We're gonna get docked so hard. So where are we headed today, Mike? Headed to the park. What are we gonna do there, Mike? Got some fishing rods. I'm gonna try to catch some bass. Where are you coming back from? What'd you just do? I just ran. Yeah, I did. did not. Because I'm a pussy. Yeah, <laughs> I like to do that shit. And now we're gonna try not to get hit by a car. This is sketchy. This is sketchy as nice. Uh, we'll get back to you guys. Yeah. Look at that fishing spot. What a fucking hell hole. <laughs> Literally Snag city. This is the best you could do, Mike? This is embarrassing. You said this was your secret this spot. Is, this is a disgrace. So apparently Mike doesn't know how to find a fishing spot, so I'm gonna go beat my own path. Yo, where the fuck are you going? There you go. Look at that. One last shot of the sunset before we depart. It's a beautiful park, Mike. What do you say? I say I'm so sweaty that I'm ready to leave. You're put. Gonna go gather some firewood. So what, this is ruined? No, we can still put it in. We'll just say sorry for the video. No, sorry for the not, video. I don't want it to be sideways, bro. All right, just got back from the mall. Didn't actually get anything. Uh, we just went to Wawa, picked up some brews. But I was just about to tell Mike about something that happened to me today that made me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. <laughs> like I'm actually a good person, like a good Samaritan or whatever. So I was at the bank. You know, like checking my balance, make sure that I haven't gotten Put an over. Put your goddamn seatbelt All right, Mike. on. <laughs> you know, checking my balance. You know, just to see, you know, how how much money I've got, so we can buy some beer. And as I'm walking up to the ATM, what do I see? But a twenty dollar bill sticking out of the deposit. Oh my god, you're the, so lucky. The that. deposit spot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I knew previously, since I had to wait for this lady for like 15 minutes to like complete her transaction, uh, that it was probably her $20 bill. Okay. So I pick up the $20 bill and I'm, you know, I'm contemplating whether, <laughs> whether I should put it into my pocket or whether I should do the right thing. The lady's still sitting in her car looking at her phone for whatever reason for like another five minutes. So I'm just standing there waving a $20 bill in the air, looking like a complete fool until she finally looks up and I tell her to roll down her window. And I'm like, ma'am, you tried to deposit this $20 bill in the ATM, but you were unsuccessful. Here's your $20. And she said, thank you. And I went about my day. Nice. So, I mean, moral of the story, you know, always do the right thing. You, you know, the right thing is always the right thing to do. I mean, you didn't get a reward. Though, I didn't right? get a reward, but the rewards were, you know, they were immeasurable. <laughs> they were intangible rewards I that I got from the fuzzy. sense of f fulfillment for doing the right thing. So you listen up, kids. If you ever see a $20 bill, Take stick it, it out of the run. ATM, and it's not yours and you know who it belongs to, well, by golly, you better give it to the person it belongs to. <laughs> Thanks, that's all. All right, so people always ask me, they say, hey Matt, you're a boy scout. Shouldn't you know how to make a fire? And I say, yeah, I do. So yeah, I'm gonna bring you guys a fire here tonight. Uh, if you look down with me here, we got the kindling, we got the bird's nest, we got the logs, Mike pan over here. We got the logs, uh, we got the chairs. Sort of. And we got the Mikey on the recorder. So yeah, we're gonna bring you guys a fire here. Let's do it. There we go. There she goes, baby. She's starting to catch. Let's get that fire roaring, boy. All you naysayers saying that I can't start a fire. <laughs> I'm just some kind of poser boy scout You're about to eat your words. That's going to be the title of this video. This is flint and steel only. No lighters around here. I'm a firebender. Well, that marks another successful day. As you can see, this fire is absolutely raging right now. We got some plastic bags, we got some CDs, we got some old government documents. You know, 
nothing to be concerned about. It's all taken care of. If you guys like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.